Have you ever wondered what happens when lightning hits the Earth? Depending on how conductive the ground is, the electricity could travel for miles. A lightning strike that hits on a beach could have very different results to one that hits in a field. I'm Judith, a scientist from the British Geological Survey. I work in the Environmental and Engineering Geophysics team, using various physics techniques to determine what's in the ground without digging. Did you know we can use electricity to map what's in the ground beneath us? Here's an experiment to show you how it's done. I have a circuit with a battery that allows electricity to flow through wires to a light bulb. Instead of a standard resistor, I'll show you how different materials from the ground can also act as resistors. First, I'll connect the soil to a circuit. Now that the soil is connected, the bulb lights up, but it's dim due to energy loss in the resistor. More resistance means less current and a dimmer bulb. Next, I'll try a different material, clay. We see that more current gets through the clay than the soil, making the bulb brighter. Now we'll connect sand to the circuit. Dry sand barely lets any current through due to its high resistance. Adding some salty seawater to the sand makes the bulb brighter as the electricity travels more easily through the wet sand. In geophysics, we often don't know what material is in the ground, so I have a mystery box with one of the three materials we've tested. The bulb is very bright, so I guess it's clay. At BGS, we use this technique to identify and monitor potentially hazardous areas. We connect a battery to a circuit and push metal poles into the ground to complete a large circuit. This gives us information on how the electricity travels through the ground. This method creates a map like this. By knowing the path, we can determine where the lowest resistive material is compared to the more resistive material. Blue areas indicate less resistive ground, easier for electricity to travel through, while red areas are more resistive. This method can provide early warning of landslides by detecting soggy, wet and slippery ground. It helps companies fix problems in unstable slopes before they collapse and can keep track of groundwater to prevent flooding and droughts. Using multiple methods together, we can get even more insights about the ground beneath our feet. 